Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen Nelson, aka The Designer in Jeans. Happy November. We are already in the first week of November and I am already, of course, thinking about Thanksgiving and travel and different things like that. So I wanted to make this video as a person with food allergies to give anyone who has a family member that is traveling to, to them that has food allergies, just some ideas of what to have in the fridge. The food allergies that I'll be discussing today will be gluten and dairy. Um, some of the items I buy are also like nut and soy free, but not everything. I do not have any issues with the other stuff. So everything for this video will be gluten and dairy free. I am not a physician. I'm not a nutritionist. This is just stuff that I actually enjoy. So only use this for what it's worth, just some tasty things that I think are great to have in your fridge. We are back from the store, and to get these items here in Texas, I went to Kroger. You can also find a lot of these items at HEB, and our Walmart sells some of them, but not all of them. So Kroger is where I went. Just It's my norm just because I have to go there for specifics. So this one that is pretty much sold everywhere is Almond Breeze, and this is, I grabbed the unsweetened vanilla. This is great for coffee creamers, um, even like if they eat some sort of a gluten-free cereal, this is a great one that a lot of people use. I wouldn't recommend cooking with this one unless it's for like a dessert. I wouldn't recommend this in say potatoes or anything like that because of the vanilla. They do make an original if someone likes just a plain almond milk, they can use that as well for that but I actually use for potatoes and for baking and for cereal, I actually use this for everything, but it's lactate. So this is of course dairy free and it's gluten free. But what I've noticed over the years is this is the one to me that tastes just like milk. There's no, um, when you put this in your potatoes and different dishes like that, anything you're cooking, it doesn't change the flavor from what people who are able to eat dairy would notice it's the same kind of flavor. So this is one that goes very well. This is the one that I use for, um, as a butter alternative, it's called Earth Balance. They offer one that's in yellow, but it's not soy free. So if you have anybody who's soy free, um, you would need the red one. This is one to double check with the person first to see what they use as a butter alternative. Um, this is what I use and my family uses but I know that there are some other allergens in here that can affect other people. So read the ingredients, talk to the person because this is not inexpensive, it's just all that we can use. Um, and I love it. I don't think it changes the flavor of your potatoes or anything. So to me, it's worth it. This is one <laughs> that, this is just like a quick prepared food that you could have. This is all in the freezer section and usually like the health area but this is plant-based buffalo chicken quesadilla. So this is um, grain-free, vegan, gluten-free, and soy-free. And this one, it contains coconut. So again, I can't say it enough, just check with everybody. So this is one that you just, there's two burritos in here. You can just throw it in the microwave for like a quick snack if they're hungry. A foolproof way to be ready for them would be any kind of veggie or fruit. We're big fruit lovers here, so any kind of fruit or veggie, tray or plate, just have this in the fridge so they can grab it. This is great for like appetizers or desserts. That way when you have the cheeses and the crackers and the charcuterie boards, charcuterie, charcuterie boards, it's something that they can eat. Um, another one to pull out, we actually like the Clint salsa, but any kind of salsa, Salsa and tortilla chips, just make sure they're corn tortilla chips. This is a great thing to have out so, or have in the ha house so when they get snacky, they have something that they can eat on that won't upset their stomach. Um, this is one that I use as a soup. So this will be like a good lunch um, if you're not having leftovers already. But this one I eat is the Southwestern Vegetable Fire Roasted, but this is from Amy's. And this one is... Um, gluten and dairy free as well, but this one is cooked in a facility that has it. So this could be a hit or miss for someone, but Amy's is the ones that I would look at. Not all of them are gluten and soy free if I'm correct, but there are quite a few choices. If you're having a 
daring, or I'm sorry, <laughs> if you're having a dairy night, pretty much, if you're having a pizza night, this is a pizza alternative to have in the freezer for someone who can't have it. So this is, um, again, gluten and dairy free and soy free as well. But this is a great one to have. Um, they're best cooked fully, like cook them, not till they're burnt, but cook them in there. Like it says, um, 16 and 21 minutes. I would go no less than 18 minutes, personally in my oven at least. Um, cause I like it a little bit crunchier cause this is definitely, this is some will like it, some won't, but when you're having pizza, everyone around you having pizza, sometimes this is a really good, um, or like a quick dinner. I'm about to have that, uh, probably for lunch. Okay. Another quick one, since there are some ice creams that are gluten and dairy free. Um, but the, the actually the best one I think that I have found is favorite day. And that's at Target. I actually don't have any of that with me because I didn't go there and we've eaten everything that's here. But another alternative to have in the fridge for someone for breakfast, um, for like a snack, if you guys are having, everyone else is having ice cream, this is another good snack. It's the dark chocolate coconut. It's silk with almond milk. These are great little yogurts for breakfast or a snack. You can put fruits in these or anything. They're just a great one to have around. They have chocolate, vanilla. I think they have strawberry. I feel like there's one more that I'm missing, um, but I can't think of what it is. The last thing I wanted to show you all to have around just for toast, avocado toast, anything like that, or you could even turn this into garlic bread, is a gluten-free homestyle original. This is Rudy's. This is in the frozen section again. Usually it's separate from all the other breads. Um, it's gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, and dairy-free. But this, we make a ton of like tuna melt, anything that you would need um, bread for, this is a great alternative. And just a good thing to have in the fridge for, or in the freezer for them, if they are interested. Now, everything gluten and dairy-free, I feel like is so expensive. So you might wanna run some of these items by them, or if you, if you have a little bit of spare and you can, just have a few of these, pick and choose what you want. But these would be a lifesaver for someone like myself when traveling and needing something quick to eat or something to eat at all. So, um, of course, they can always go through your foods. And, you know, on turkey, they can eat, if they're meat eaters, they can eat the meat and the side, no problem. But definitely think about it when you're making those mashed potatoes and throwing butter into all the different meals just make sure their sensitivity isn't so much that they would have an issue. I hope this helps. I know this is something that not everybody has to deal with, which is a huge blessing. Uh, but for those of us who do, this is uh, greatly appreciated. If there's just a couple options that we can choose from. So I'm actually going to get this stuff in the freezer and in the refrigerator, and then I'll come back up on to talk to you for a minute. Got all the groceries put away, but I forgot I had picked this up. This is Almond Breeze Almond Milk Nog. So it's supposed to be a dairy-free alternative to eggnog. And it only contains almonds. So I'm going to give this a shot. And I got, these are some other things to put on your list, by the way. If this is good, I'll let you know. And this is always a good one, too, for those um, special occasions for the toppers and stuff. Or if you're me, for your coffee. Um, it's a non-dairy coconut milk ready whip. I think they make this with almond milk too. They're both really good, but I happen to have the coconut here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. Just gonna do a little taste test since I've never had it. I'm gonna try it without the whipped cream and then I'm gonna add the whipped cream. So moment of truth. actually pretty good. I'm not a huge eggnog person to begin with, but I like that though. It says it's egg, dairy, lactose, soy, and gluten-free. So this is a really good one to grab if you're going to serve eggnog, but someone has an allergy. This is a really cool so they don't get left out. I like that. So I hope these um, grocery items and tips can help you make the holidays serving someone who is gluten or dairy free, as well as um, a friend or family member. This doesn't just have to be for the holidays. This is something you can always keep in your fridge for someone um, who is over a lot that has these has these issues. It is It means a lot to people 
for someone to have this for them or to at least grab it before they come over. So these are just some suggestions that you could mention to them or just have a couple on hand. A lot of times they might wanna shop when they get there, but just having a couple items that they can have and snack on so they're still part of the festivities. There's really no fantastic way to transition to this next part. Veterans Day is coming up next week and unfortunately we lost my grandfather. Uh, he was 91, we lost him last Friday, a week ago today, and we laid him to rest with full military honors. He was a Purple Heart recipient. And I just wanted to um, give him a tribute on here and also ask y'all to thank a veteran. Um, it's coming up and those veterans who have served in, served in war definitely deserve our thanks. They deserve a little time for someone to uh, acknowledge them and to say thank you. I am beyond proud to have known and loved this beautiful man. So make sure you thank a veteran and have a great weekend. Bye till next week.